Glad to be here. Hey. time, you know? I've been wanting to do this for a minute, so I'm happy we finally get into it. Yes, sir, man. I'm proud of you. I like what you got going on. Your whole movement is righteous. Repping the culture properly. Uh-huh. Well, we, we carrying on your movement, the tradition. Can we start strong, man? Show, show me something. Let's do this. I want to take this opportunity to go off my hip-hop roots. And I want to uh, show this piece right here. It's not a grill, but it's a grill for me. This rugby right here. I'm saying this mm. is what we call I was the well me. I was the, the one that coined the W this is the Sean P rugby. The Sean P. Yeah, RIP to that brother, man. He rocked it in the Timeless Truth video, priceless. Timeless Truth featuring Sean P. So back in like 2010, 09, something like that. He rocked it in that video. It's one of the most prolific polo uh showing videos ever. This is the Sean P rugby. So if you're out there, you got this. You know what I'm saying? Throw your peas off of Sean P, you know? That's right. Represent, represent. What I, I like about you, you um you strong with the RL and also strong in the um the hip hop culture, the hip hop community. Correct. What's Correct. up? Mm -hmm. And keeping with that, keeping with that, I wanted to shout out. I mean, I'm not sure if a lot of your uh viewers, maybe, maybe not. Uh shout out to Thomas Truth, dope rap group and hip hop fresh out of Queens. Uh, in my opinion, they're probably the best dressed rap group out here with low. So Going with that same video, this is a, a rugby that Soulless Rock in the video. They, I like that. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful rugby. Um, they, they're from Queens. They're Mets fans, so it represents the Mets colors and whatnot. Let me see. Okay. Wait, let, let, let me let me see the show. Let me see the um the arm on that joint. Pardon me. I'm gonna show you the back of the collar too. A lot going on. And I and I love those quilted uh, shoulders and everything. Definitely, definitely. Okay, and the brother Solis, you know what I'm saying? Super bad MC rock this in the video. In the barbershop scene, this is another hoodie. They rocked in the video. You might have seen this joint before. I love this piece. I like that. Now look, that that joint kind of reminds me of um like hockey or or so football. Like, I think it's Lake Placid. Yeah, man. Okay. Now, I mean, yo, if you wanted, you could even, you could give a breakdown on the rugby that you're wearing right now. This is, <laughs> I got a love and hate for this video, uh, video, pardon me, love and hate for this rugby. I threw it on because, you know, I wanted to rock a piece that is photogenic, that's going to talk loud to the viewers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, go see this. This is the uh, Stampede of Five, horse, uh, five Horsemen Rugby. Um, came out, some people call it a retro because of the orange, orange, it's an orange one and a blue one, and there's also a mythical pink one out there, and also the white ones with the t-shirt, I got the t-shirt, and also it's the white one with the short sleeve, I don't own that one, I don't have the pink one, and I say the pink one is a kid, kid's one, but I do, one second. You probably don't even know what you have, bro, for real. I do have the blue one on deck, though. But I bet, yeah, I bet you forget what you have, don't you? It is. It, 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 it definitely makes a statement. For y'all who don't know, um, so I met Nacho through Instagram. I've been following. And before I got to know him, I didn't know what to think of him. Because by reading the captions, I'm like, yo, he got some strong opinions. He one of those sharp, you know what I mean? Like, he one of them guys who will grind you, you know what I mean? That's how too. When, when now? What year was this popping? <sighs> actual release, but it had to be 08, 09, And forgive me about the actual factuals. I know that video.
video dropped in 09 2010 in that era right there. You know what I'm saying? I've had it for a minute. Love the piece. Um, and I, I encourage you, if you get an opportunity, uh, reach out to Timeless Truth. You know what okay. I'm saying? Heavy hitters in the game, you know what I'm saying, with the, with the slow. Definitely. Okay. And matter of fact, you might, you, you might have heard of the, the website, Vengeance Gear Addicts. They used to run that back in the day. Okay. Okay. But, I see you coming strong, man. For y'all who don't know, man, this man is the um is the closet breaker. He got these pictures uh, on Insta. Some of the bands right there. Some of the bands right there. I, I got something for you, uh, Dave. I know. I, I think this is the shirt you might have shown on one episode. Or yeah, one? yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, the first That's one. The twin the, brother. I don't know which one you had. That green one. The green okay, one. Okay, the twin brother to it. And what's on that one? Horses. It's a, cowboy. It's, a, it's got a um, it's an equestrian motif on it. That's hot. Joints, you know what That's saying? dope. The, I just rocked the green one uh, like yesterday, I think. And I bought it out because of you. I saw it. I saw okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah. And I got another treat for you, too. If you don't mind. Oh, no. Do it. This right here means a lot to me. Some cats got it. A lot of cats want it. And I happen to have it. This is the world famous Kenya rugby. Oh, so that's a sought after piece right there. You don't want to mess it up. Now I see, I see you not, you not scared of the joints with like, with like heavy graphics and everything. Is there anything that's too flashy for you or nah? Um, and a lot of people probably gonna come up my neck for this, but yeah, I like me personally. And once again, I'm speaking for myself. Like, um, have you ever seen the the casino shirt? Nah, you gotta put me on. That's purple. That joint purple. Purple and orange. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 You got a lot of heat. All right. I do want to um, show you this one, Dave. Have you ever heard of the Pepsi jacket? Yeah, I heard of it, but I don't. Um, unfortunately, I'm, I'm 6'4", broad shoulders. Of you and I discussed at the Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> I'm a lot of pieces. A lot of the grill pieces I don't fit my frame. I like the Pepsi jacket. It's, uh, it's like a, like almost like a custom fit. It fits short, but I do own the Pepsi rugby though. For this, so. Yeah, yeah. Polo sport. Yeah. Now for sure, you know what I'm saying? I love it. I rather I wish I could fit the, um, the, the the Pepsi jacket, but you know. That's hot. We'll talk to God about his God's plan. You know? Yeah, God. Now that you mentioned, I think I did have pieces from that um from that line. That's when I first really got into it. You know. Hold up, I can't, I can't hear you. What'd you say? I said we gonna get eventually. We we gonna get you to a million, million two followers and whatnot. You see this? You ever seen this? This polo sport line before? I think. Oh, hold! You you gonna have to bring it back because we freezing. We we freezing. Like I was saying, um. I mean, bef before like meeting you and, and kind of really interacting, I would just kind of read your um, like read your captions and everything, and I'm like, this guy, man, he either got a a, a pointed sense of humor, is that, or or or, or, or he a real dick. I, like to have a good I, I said I said that, or he a real dick. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I guess all depends on who you ask, man. 
there to know me is a little bit. I'm, I'm, I like to have a good time, crack a few jokes. Um, I'm sure you've seen it. It's some, it's some um, buffoonery going on in the culture. Mm-hmm. And what I do is, it's all love and respect, but I'm going to still crack a few jokes. I don't mean to I'm not, I'm not the, um, the almighty, I'm not the authority or nothing. I know what I know. Yeah. And every day I try to learn something new. In and out the low culture, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I, yep. and, 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 and I got to tell you, um, your event, um, Get Low Below the Brooklyn Bridge, I, I showed up and, and it was all love. You know what I'm That's saying? Right. You even had a guy come over from um, London, right? Yeah, my man Bullets, Stevie Bullets. Yeah. So, yeah, good guy, man. I really, I really appreciate that. That was, that was humbling. that the brother took the time to fly over across the park to come to the city. His first time coming to New York, his first time coming to a low event, and he came out and represented. That was, that was a good feeling to see him in the building. Yeah, that's Under what's up. Bridge, so to speak. I'm going, I'm going to air yep. his episode too. Tell me this, like, what's, what's your goal? I think you got like a hundred thousand piece goal. I don't know. <laughs> that's taking to a next. My, my initial goal is 10,000. I'm definitely surpassed uh, a couple thousand. And every once in a while, I kind of take a few steps back, let pieces go that I, I don't care for, I don't wear, uh, um, don't fit right, things of that nature, let them go, and then I go, get back out there and get pieces of, uh, and uh, get back that goal of uh, surpassing 10,000 pieces of low. I take it serious. It's, it's, it's a full-time job, you know what I'm saying, uh, doing, doing what I do, but I'm a, I'm a collector, seriously. When did you become a collector? Um, so I, I guess you're a collector slash low head. I put a stamp on it, 95, 96, in the era right there. Um, first impression on the high school era, leaving Hill figure, leaving Nautica. I jumped, uh, started rocking low, let's say 92, 93. First, first small horses and stuff like that, that, you know what I'm saying, moms and pops provided me. But then uh, going hardcore with the low, I would say 95, 96, um, in the era right there, I wanted to be rock low heavily. Okay. You ever had to do anything like um, you didn't expect to get your hands on a piece? Yeah, I man. I mean, <laughs> we grown now past the statute of limitation. You know what I'm saying? I did some small time gene, aka you know what I'm saying, taking it five finger discount. You know, went through that. Went through that. Yeah. I'm not bragging. Uh, you know, pre trial intervention. I'm, I'm sure cats out there know what that means. Uh, but you, yeah, you know, it's you know, it's a crazy the stuff like that. So going going forward to just you know. Uh, switching tags and little, little stuff like that to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? To get that low. It's an addiction. I, I gotta have it. certain pieces, get it to somebody's gearbox, offer a deal, I trade you this, trade you that, let's get this low. I need that piece. Uh you care about the condition? Is is there a piece that you take even if it was kinda wrecked? Uh are we still frozen? Because yeah, man, I would rather it be close to mint or, or I, I, I I'm I'm a collector, I collect vintage and new. You know what I'm saying? So um, I do like my stuff um, in uh, minty, crispy condition if possible. Mm-hmm. But if not, if, if, it's, if some of the stuff is pre-owned, it, it comes with the game, you know. I buy from a thrifter, thrifter, excuse me. I mean, but I don't, I don't, I don't care to buy anything with stains and or holes. That, I mean, I can't <laughs> out with, while I'm out with my wife um, looking crazy. Like, <laughs> I got a hole, why you got a hole in this shirt? I don't want that, you know? Nah, no go. There are limits. Nah, right, 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 right. Yeah, we're going to bring it right back with a part two. 